Loophole. This one should be good. A lot of budgets. A lot going on. Actually, how, sp <laughs> how stressed do spring cannons get? Has anyone ever wondered this? They get very stressed. Okay. All right. So we need to make us a solid loop here that isn't a spring cannon. Just the half pipe. Honestly, I can overbuild the crap out of this. Although, maybe instead of overbuilding, I could just do something like this. The only thing is this might cause absurd amount of stress onto the roads. 9%? Maybe not. Actually, that's not as bad as I thought it'd be. They have like 45, I think. 49? Yeah, that's not terrible at all. I guess I'm gonna use muscles for tension. I guess I could actually do something like, something cool like this. We almost create a bit of a web sort of deal. The super muscle, kind of. All right, let's see if this does much better. Uh, that got pretty bad. Was that road this time? Let me watch it slowly. Oh, it was the road and this bottom piece. But nothing on top got bad. So the bottom piece, this can just be a muscle easily. So here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to actually set this up here. And I'm going to have an entirely unattached road with a minor gap course oh much better there we go by detaching parts of the bridge we allow the stress to actually go to steel rather than the reinforced road and that should be enough nice under 30 percent stress at that let's go let's move on to three two the big dipper try to get this done so this bridge i think is a perfect starting point for the roads then everything I want to do is change this up so it's cable here. I could do some multi-tension designs. So something like this. So let's see. 27% stressed is usually not a good sign. Especially with that start. It gets pretty high. 60%. It's way less stressed in the center. But looks like the sides are taking it. Let's, uh, let's actually redo this then. Maybe I'll need to have them be steel based. Uh, I think even if I make everything steel, the roads in the center will still get stressed. Yeah, the roads in the center are just mad stressed. And it looks like the cables are getting a little bit of that too. So I had this design when I was budget shaving, where I just had a single point like that. Let me overbuild this and see if this helps at all. That makes it worse. Um, technically it hasn't gotten over 40 yet. Uh, it got kind of, uh, 43 in the middle. 43% stress is not terrible. What about, um... 27%. Oh, that's a step in the right direction, actually. We shaved money, I think, and stress. So the reason why I decided to do this is because now I have two ar or three arches, basically. An arch from here to here, an arch from here to here, stabilizers, and then a third arch that basically covers exactly the center. What if I just have fewer pieces of cable? Let me try to change the angle to see if that helps at all. I think that helped. Yeah, actually, that did help. Interesting. All right, so this is our best one currently. It's under stress budget, budget $730 to go. Some of the steels aren't getting stressed. Maybe like this one? How about then the mirrored one here? I think I saw 40 that time. No, I didn't. I'm making stuff up. Okay, cool. We've done it. <laughs> um... Yeah, I, I like making stuff up. I can't believe, actually, I didn't even stop to look at the steels. I just assumed after replacing woods with steels, because, you know, woods were getting stressed, that I thought I couldn't go back. Doubling down! Okay, this one's should be easy to replace, because all I need to do is take out wood, add steel, and maybe reinforce roads. And then I think I'm going to make every road reinforced. At least just some of the important ones. All right, let's try this. Okay, that's very unstressed. Oh, that is so looking bad in the middle. That's fine. These can be reinforced roads. And then I could probably change up the hydraulic if it still fails. All right, that looks a lot better, but the taxi does way more. And then we're probably going to see some stress while the hydraulic is going. So I might just have to change the hydraulic. Oh, it buckles. That's fine. Easily fixable. Even when coming back up, it's close. Honestly, this could be a first try. Nice. <laughs> Way easier than the past couple levels, I'll say that much. Hydraulic bridges are actually really easy for me to get low stress on. So that's good. 
Let's go on. Semi-slope, I think, could be manageable. Um, we have steel. We have a high budget. I think I'm just gonna start by going ham on the steels. I also do have cables, if need be. All right, so in the spirit of simultaneously saving stress and budget, uh, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of this Pentagon. And then this is not supported well. I haven't done this type of design in forever, where I've just done two layers of this stuff. Yeah, sorry for breaking into the Pentagon. It had to be done. All right, let's run it. 21%. Oh, God. How does this side do? Horrible. Let's do some... Let's do some reinforced roads across the board. And then I'll probably meet, need a double decker on the right side. Or left side, sorry. Oh, this is terrible, actually. This bridge is going to be hard. I might need some steel muscles here. 68% stress. Jeebus. Do you guys like tension? I like tension. Tension means that I think I can have these be regular roads. This actually does get stressed, so I think I will have these be steel. And then I'll do a muscle going to here. And then I need this to be a muscle. How about now? Okay, that muscle got obscenely stressed, huh? Yeah, this is looking like a terrible start. Damn, I actually have no idea. Oh, I, I actually have no clue. All right, let me show you the closest design I had. Raise it up. And then I don't know what the hell is I'm doing here. Maybe a muscle. This probably a muscle. And then here, 19% starting off, but it doesn't get super high. Uh, except over here, it gets bad here, but the worst is like the roads. 86%. Yeah, okay, so what I want to do then is reach to here. Yeah, I could also make the right side a double decker, um, but that doesn't fix the problem of the stuff on the bottom getting stressed. So this muscle is handling life a lot better. Now it's just bad over here, so let's maybe try to triple muscle this. All right, let me try an all steel, something like this. And then same over here. How's this hold? Very well. Hey, it's under 40%. <laughs> um, I'm curious how cheap I can get it. All right, let's try shave money here. And by shave money, I mean just completely redo this. Like, if I can get it, like, 10,000 over and under 40% stress, even under 50% stress, I'll be pretty happy. Maybe? Nope. How about this? Oh, I saw it flash 40, but that wasn't that bad. Wow. Honestly, not a bad shave. I doubt I can go much farther. Let me change how this works. Let me do this thing. And then cable here. Maybe they can be even be rope. 15,000 to go. Let's try rope, although I have my doubts. See, that's that's why the world should be flat. If the world was flat, I would have solved this by now. Don't ask how, it just would have happened. 39.1% stress. This muscle maybe could be a steel, but this is pushing it, I think. Because I did have to make this a muscle for a reason, but it might have been because of symmetry. Oh, I saw 40. That is so close to being good. $2,000 to go? What if I try a idea like this involving cable? This is cheaper than the muscle and potentially stronger. Good. A thousand and a half. What if this is a rope? This cannot be normal. I may... No, this can't be normal either. There's no way. Oh my, I didn't think we'd be able to get this one, but we're within striking distance. $1,000 to get the semi-truck up. Understressed. 39.5. Can I do this to $47? Let's, so let's bring this in like that. All right, let's see if it works. Come on, top arch, don't fail me now. Please? Yeah, wow. <laughs> We've done it. The semi-slope under 40% stress and under budget. I genuinely didn't think this would be possible. I feel awesome. That was crazy. Maybe one more? Ah, rock skipping. What do, what do I even do? <laughs> How do I even do this? It's a jump level. Freaking. <laughs> every time it hits roads, every time it hits roads, it explodes in stress. You know what, though? What if I just replace everything with steel and reinforced road and just see what happens? 
Maybe even over reinforce some of the stuff. Like maybe just this design is magical and all I need is a few good pieces of steel and I'm in. I mean, there's a lot of static joints here. This could potentially work. Let's run it. That's fine. That's terrible. Oh God. <laughs> oh, that's abysmal. I think I'm still gonna do the multi-jump strat, but I wanna change it up a little. Like this. All right, so already that was better. Everything was good except for the middle jump. And ex and of course the fact that it didn't make it is also bad. Let's slow it down, look at these numbers. That doesn't get stressed, speed it up a little. That does hit 40%. I could change that up so. This does not break 40%. That jump is terrible. Let's change the angle here. Wait, let's also change up the catch of this like that. Good. Good. Great. Wait, that might just be it. I didn't even see 30%. <laughs> easy. All right. That one was too easy. Let's do uh, let's do one more. That was that was too quick. Crossed paths. So I got a hydraulic design. Let's just let's just do that. Uh, just there's only six pieces of steel. That is sketch. Let me just do higher triangles here first. Reinforce the roads, maybe. Um, yeah. Where do I want to use my steel? Maybe here, like that. Let me then get rid of some of these and make these reinforced. So then let me try a simple tension design. And if this fails, we got steel to back us up. 24% stress, not awful. Let's uh, reinforce this road. 24 still. Looks like the worst of the ropes. All right, the ropes got bad. What if these are steel? This whole thing is steel, actually. 19, that's a little better. Is it good, good though? Honestly, the worst part was it connecting with the ramp. Is this fare much better? Oh, awkward. But this has to be accepted way better. Well, let me try something where this is a hydraulic that gets the hell out of the way for D. Okay, so it shouldn't donk anymore. All right, this goes up way better. So I need to fix the on-ramp. Definitely arch it more like this. I mean, I could try something like that. I'll have to do like a diamond hydraulic or just something weird to keep it up. 20%. All right, so better numbers here. How is it gonna go while hydraulicing? 38? 39. Okay, actually, it was just this piece here. I'm gonna just make this regular. There we go. Much better numbers we're looking at. You know, I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. It's not good enough. Now we have a different problem. What even got stressed? The car donks, does it? Maybe barely. If it does, I can just push this up. All right, well, that's a lot cleaner. So I'll take chat's word for it that it was a donk. What a weird donk if so. Hopefully me changing the bridge doesn't change much at all. All right, this time. This time for sure. Come on. Nice. Anyways, we did it. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. I don't know. Um, let me see what the next level is. <laughs> Yo, I think I'm good on this low stress thing. I think I'm good. I think that's a decent place to call it. We got a few good bridges done today. I think that should be plenty. I think that's a good place for me to call it. Have a good night. Love you all.